Welcome back, welcome to the next part in this series on creating a shopping cart with Node.js and Express. So I left at this state here where we had data in our database, seeded to the database and displayed those uh, these data on, well, on our starting page here. That's nice, but sooner or later we're going to need a user and I want to start implementing this user design up functionality, design in functionality and so on right now. So let's start with that. I'll head over to my project and the first important thing I'll do is I'll create a new folder in the views folder, which I will call user and which should of course keep all my user related views. This will be my sign up view. So sign up.hps, my sign in view and my editor is hanging. So now I'm allowed to continue and my profile uh, view. So this will be my free user views and I'll start in the sign up view where I will create a new row bootstrap here of course then add some styling so some columns here just to give this a nice positioning and look then yes this will be the sign up page and then I will create a form I'll take care about the action later for now I will set the method to post though and in this form I want to have a form group where I have a label for my email field. So I'm going to identify users with email and password, by the way, if you uh, haven't guessed by now. So this will be what my user model looks like right now. Of course, later this will be extended with address and so on if we really go into the shopping theme more, but this basic login will have email and password. So ID email and, whoops, and name email and this, oops, this also needs a class here, form control. I oftentimes forget that, not this time though. So then here I'm going to select all that, replace it with password. Type should be password, of course, and the label will be password2. And then I'll add a button of type submit, which should say sign up. So that's my basic form here. Later, I want to add some validation errors here. So I'll create a placeholder for that right now. And also I need to take care about CSRF protection. So the protection that um, my, my session gets stolen, so to say. And I will set up this protection a second too. The first thing I want to do though is to create my user model before I come to the other topics here. So I'll go to my models file folder here and create a new file, user.js. Now in here, I'll of course import mongoose. So require mongoose and create the schema. So mongoose schema. And then I will define my, my model here. So the, the user schema first which will of course be a new schema to which I pass the definition as a JavaScript object, like we did it for the product model. My user will have an email, which should be of type string and which will be required. And my user should also have, or yeah, have a password of type string, which should also be required. So that's nice. Um, I can then export all of that module exports mongoose model user user schema very nice indeed but this is not complete yet I want to add some methods to my user schema and therefore to the user model which allow me to hash my password when I'm storing it so just a convenience method that I can easily make sure that the password is hashed. And I want to add a method to validate this hashed password. And I will need all of that later when I'm actually coming to signing in the user or generally to my user sign up and sign in process which will need or use these methods. Because in Node Express here, 
I will use a third party package, Passport, like you often do in Node Express apps where you use a lot of packages to handle all my user creation, user sign in. Because writing that all on your own is of course possible, but really complex and there is no need to do so since Passport, the package I will be using, is a great package handling all of that. And whilst being great, it's still very flexible. So just wanted to say that right away. However, before I come to that, I want to go back to this CSRF protection thing, which you might know from my Laravel videos if you watch them too. CSRF protection is very important to make sure that our session can't get stolen or that if it gets stolen, other users still aren't able to create users with our session or use our assigned in session and so on. Therefore, in, for example, Laravel, I add a hidden input field here in my form, which would also get submitted, which sends the session token, which allows the server to identify if the browser sending this token is the same browser, well, which got the session in the first place, which of course protects us against the session getting stolen. Node doesn't offer this functionality out of the box as you are probably aware, Node in general is a very core or com compact key functionality and the same is true for the express framework. And then you add packages for all the different things or functionalities you want to add. So for CSRF protection, we have such a package available. You can find this package by searching for C surf and then this github account here this is the github repository for the package we're going to use and here you also find the installation command so i'm going to install this in my project create a new terminal window for that copy that into here and i'll add the save flag to also create an entry the package.json file and this will install this csrf protection package However, installing it is not enough. I also have to make or do some extra steps. In my index.js file in the routes folder, I will import this or assign it to a variable, variable named CSRF, require CSRF. Then I will create a variable named CSRF protection, which will use this C CSRF package. With that, I am starting the CSRF protection, so to say, or I'm able to use it as a middleware. And next here, I will use it when I create my additional routes. So let's do this. I will create the route for the sign up page. This will be a get route, sign up. And I want to use user slash sign up function, request, response, and next. And for now here, I will return the user slash sign up view. So it is sign up.hps file in the user folder. And I will pass something to that view. I will pass this CSRF token, this package we just added will create for us. So CSRF token should be request and then we can access CSRF token on that request. So the CSRF package is providing us with this functionality to pass this token to our view. So if we now have a look at this and if I go to the signup.hps file, um, I will output this token so that we can see that this works um, just as a normal text here. This, of course, is not how the protection will work. This is just to see that it is working. However, this code won't work since I'm using the default configuration for the CSRF package, which requires sessions to be enabled. Now, sessions have to be imported via a separate package to this project. So I will do this next. I will run npm install minus minus save express dash session. And then in the app.js file, I will import this session from or via require express session. And I will need to set this up here when I set up all my middleware, for example, after setting up the cookie parser by using app use. 
and then session. And then this will basically enable sessions. And I will add some configurations here. For example, I will provide a secret, my super secret. And you may of course pick a more, a better key to save your sessions. And then I will also specify two additional options which you should specify when using this package. The resave option, which I will set to false. The default is true, but the default is deprecated. Now, this basically means that if this is set to true, this session will be saved on the server on each request, no matter if something changed or not. And I'm setting this to false, that I'm not doing this all the time. And the other um, option you should specify is also save initialized, also set to false. Here too, the default is true and this is deprecated too. This means that if this is set to true, the session will be stored on the server, even though it might not have been initialized, that nothing has been added there. And we don't want that behavior. So with that, the session is set up. And now back in the index.js file, I also have to apply this middleware to this router, so to protect my routes here. I do this by running or by using the use method on this router and then using this CSRF protection I set up here. So with that, I'm now telling Express all the routes included in this router package here should be protected by CSRF protection. So now if I restart my server and I head to my application and go to user sign up, you now see this key I was specifying here. This is this token, this CSRF token. You also see an ugly button, so I'm going to fix both. Get rid of this token here and also give this button some classes to give it a nicer styling. And with that, I can then add a hidden input field here, which should have a name of underscore CSRF. By this name, the package will try to identify it and find this token. And then the value using handlebars here should be this CSRF token I just printed to the screen. So with that, this token is also submitted whenever we submit this form. And then this package is able to check, well, if this token is there. So if this is, uh, submitted right. So I'm going to add an action here, which should lead to user sign up. And I'm going to create this route here. Router post user sign up function request response and next. And I'll take care about the actual user creation a second. For now, I want to see if this protection works. So all I will do here is I will for now redirect the user to the starting page here. So I'll restart my server, reload this page here, enter something here, doesn't really matter. And I'm redirected. Now, if I go to my sign up page and I comment out this hidden input field. And if I now go to the user sign up page again, I get an error that I got an invalid CSRF token. So this protection is in place and is working just what I wanted. So with that, this very important piece is set up. And in the next lecture, I'll go into how we actually create a new user. See you there. Bye.